Hello everyone and welcome to Hasty. In the previous video we showed you how to use Hasty to work on an object detection task. If you missed it, please check it out via a link down below or through the pop-up notification in the upper right corner of your screen. Today we are going further and covering the instant segmentation task. In detail, we'll talk about all the relevant tools Hasty has for annotating data for an instant segmentation task, some tips and tricks you can use to speed up the process, different automation features. Hopefully, this tutorial will give you a better understanding of how to use Hasty successfully. Let's jump in. Okay, we assume that you already have a Hasty project, defined the necessary object or semantic classes, uploaded some images and are ready to start annotating. For this tutorial we will use images of big cats and will try to segment them. As classes we will use lion, tiger, cheetah, leopard and lynx. Let's briefly check the Hasty UI. On your left, you can see different instruments that are helpful for data annotation. On your right, there are different classes, the defined ones, both object and semantic ones. At the bottom of the screen, you can see all of the images that are uploaded to the Hasty project and right in the center, there is a selected image that you can directly annotate. For instant segmentation, Hasty provides a variety of tools. For example, you can use manual ones such as Polygon and Brush, and you can use AI-powered ones such as Instant Segmentation AI Assistant, box to instance Dexter, and Atom. Let's check them out one by one. Let's start with the AI-powered tools. We have box to instance Dexter and Adam. Each tool has a short explanation of how to use it and a hotkey for the corresponding tool. To use box to instance, we need to draw a bounding box first. So I'll select a bounding box, draw it around the lion, just click, drag and then release and you'll have a bounding box and then I'll press O as it's the hotkey for the box to instance tool and this is what happened. So we have a relatively accurate instance of a line which is great in just a few clicks. Nice. The next one is Dexter. So Dexter requires you placing four points at the most northern, eastern, southern and western edges of an object. Uh, but unfortunately, I feel like it will underperform because the shape of an object is quite difficult for it to reproduce. Let's see. Uh, yep, so the produced mask is not that good. We can add more dots to see if it helps Dexter. And yes, it does, but it still requires us more work than box to instance, for example. To be fair, Dexter is quite useful if the shape of an object is not that tough and curvy. So for example, let's try and label these links. So just as I have already shown you, Southern, Northern, Western and Eastern dots. And here we got a mask. We can add an additional dot here and we'll get a cool mask. So basically that's it. If your object doesn't have a weird shape, you can straight away use Dexter and it won't fail you. Okay, anyway, we'll still have Adam. We just select it place a dot in the center of an object and in a blink of an eye we have I guess it's the best instance that we got out of these three tools. So as you see with the AI powered tools you can easily produce instances. If for some reason you don't want to use AI powered tools 
you can always use the manual ones. As mentioned earlier, in Hasty we have the polygon tool that helps you create polygons and the brush tool that helps you create masks. All right, so let's check out the polygon tool first. I'll select it and I will try to create a polygon for the lion's head. All you need to do is to just click on an image to start annotating and place the first polygon dot. Then drag your mouse until you feel it's the right moment to stop and place the next dot. And that's basically it. You just need to click and drag, click and drag until you get to the starting point. Here is the polygon, a weird one for sure, but it works. Okay, polygon aside, let's try and use the brush tool. I'll select it, make sure I have the correct class chosen and that the brush mode is not an eraser one. Let me show you how it works. So for example, if I paint something with the brush, I can then toggle on the eraser flag and erase it. So just like that. Okay, so all we need to do now is to adjust with the width of the brush and draw some mask. And that's it. You press the enter and here is your mask of the lion class. Moreover, you can convert it to polygon if you like polygons more. Additionally, I suggest you pay attention to the fill and overpaint features. Let's deal with the fill closed path first. When using the brush, most users often start by first painting the outline before filling in everything in between. In Hasty, however, you don't need to fill in your annotation manually. Let me select the brush and draw a circle to form a closed path. Here it is. Then just press the fill icon in the tool menu or press shift plus F hotkey to fill in the closed path. I'll press the fill button. This will fill in all the area in between as long as the outline is 100% closed. Then I press the enter and here is our annotation of the line class. As for overpaint, it makes sure that the brush will be applied only in the area that's not covered by any existing label. Let's see how it works. So you select the brush and here is the overpaint flag. Right now it's toggled off, which means that the overpaint is not allowed. Let me draw something. Then I toggle on the flag and allow the overpaint and also draw something of the different class. Then I press enter and I get a mask. As you can see, one part of it overpaints and the other doesn't overpaint. As you can see, the brush functionality is white which makes it quite useful for the instant segmentation labeling tasks. As you can see, there are many opportunities. So I suggest just play around and see what works the best for you. In my case, it's Adam. So I'll annotate this image using Adam. I'll press enter to accept the annotation, the suggestion of Adam, and here it is. I get the labeled line. Awesome! The first image is done, and when the annotation is done, you should change the image status to done. 
as it signalizes automation features that the image can be used for their training. You can do it manually or you can use the Shift plus D hotkey to set the status to done. I'll use the hotkey. Ta-da! It's done. To be fair, as you can see, there are many image statuses. Each status is useful for project management. So to get a better understanding of each status, please check the corresponding user docs via a link down below. We've done the first image, which is great, but to access hasty automation features such as AI assistance, you need to label a fixed amount of images or produce a fixed amount of annotations. For example, for to trigger instance segmentation assistance training, we need to label nine more images. As the project progresses, the automations features are retrained and get better. Therefore, over time, you might not need to label something yourself as the algorithms will produce the annotations themselves. Fine. To get to the next image, please select it in the bottom bar or just press Shift plus N and you will be redirected to it. All right. Please give me some time to label nine more images. For you, it will be seconds and for me, some working time, maybe five, maybe 10 minutes. I don't know. See you soon. Welcome back. It has been about seven minutes since I labeled the 10th image. As you see, the IS assistant icon is now blue, which means that the assistant is trained and ready to help us with annotations. I want to remind you that it used only 10 images as a training set, so its predictions might not be perfect. Still, using AI powered assistance is always better than doing something manually. Let's see how the assistant works. To get it running, you need to press on the corresponding icon or press I as it's the hotkey for the assistant. I'll press I and we'll get the prediction. There are different parameters, for example, confidence, which controls the potential objects that are shown to you, the masker threshold that controls the threshold for masks, and max detections, which specifies the maximum limit of AI suggestions received. But for us, uh, a more vital moment is that the assistant worked quite good. So the class is predicted correctly, leopard, and the mask itself, while not being perfect, it's still good for an algorithm that used just 10 images to train, it's a great result. I'll accept these suggestions by pressing enter and let me label 20 or so more images using instant segmentation assistant before we move to the next part. Today we showed you all the different options Hasty provides for the instant segmentation labeling task. As you can see, we produced 35 high-level instances across 30 images in a half an hour or so. We hope that this video helped you get a glimpse of Hasty potential. If you are looking for an ML platform, look no further. 
Hasty is a vision AI platform that helps you throughout the ML lifecycle. In short, we take care of a lot of the ML ops so you don't have to. Please check out our content hub or book a demo via the link below if you want to know more. Thanks for staying with us. Please leave a like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment section. Have a good one. Peace.